Hello everybody and uh, welcome again to Weekly Inspiration, Parashat HaShavua, Parashat Emor. We are still in Sfirat Omer, exactly in the middle of it. And uh, we know that Emor is talking about the whole holidays, the Jewish holiday during the year. But it starts with Emor la Kohanim, talk to the Kohanim. Talk to the Kohanim. And what is a Kohen? What is a Kohen? What is the mission of the Kohen? If we're thinking about the mission of the Kohen, is to be special. To stay special, to serve the people of Israel, to do the paradum if needed, to do all the job that being required to stay in what we call right column energy. Chasadim, to be a chasid, to be kind, to be a generous, to share. That's what the job of a Kohen. So the entire parasha will teach us how to elevate ourselves to the right column. And by doing so, we will be able to achieve the three-column system that called Pesach, Shavuot, Sukkot. Pesach stands for right column, Sukkot stands for left column, and Shavuot is a center column. So why is the Kohanim? in the beginning as the right column so important for us. Very simple because as Rav Ashlag write in his book, Matan Torah, Gift of the Bible, Gift of the Torah, he write that in the community, the global community, we don't have to worry about receiving. We have to worry about sharing. Why is receiving not so important? Now, I just like to add, because if you stop receiving, you're going to die. Stop receiving food, water, oxygen, you're going to die. So the receiving comes naturally to us, but the giving is not. And for that reason, this week portion is so important. Every time you see a Kohen in a shul, in a synagogue, getting Aliyah for the Torah, it's big, it's very important. That means that person is there. Bnei Banav shel Aaron HaKohen. Aaron HaKohen, one of the most important people in the Torah. And he was the beginning of the Kohanim. Kohen job, if you are a Sephardic shul, they do blessing of the Kohanim. Shabbat, Musaf, all the time, blessing of the Kohanim. And the idea of the Kohanim are, that's why they do with the finger like that. You remind you, we are here to bring you to the center column by doing the right column. Anyway, I'm using uh, the Zohar in Emor, and I'm going to start with the idea of explaining the concept of right column, what it is. And then we're going to develop that into uh, understanding of what is uh, left column and understand how we need to cancel the left column. But let's understand first how is right column look like and why we give the Kohen the first Aliyah all the time in the Torah. Why the Kohen gets so much respect if you are a Sephardic shul after the Kohen do the blessing of the Kohanim. Everybody go and shake his hands, Hazak Baruch, Shakoyach, whatever you want to say to, to appreciate the blessing that the Kohen uh, actually uh, uh, gave to us. And that's why it's uh, it's so, so important. So I'm in verse Ein Chet in the Sulam. Meshiv el abore kamen biyol. Besha'a shakadosh b'chur rotsa ladun et ha'olam b'ra'av. Eno moser davar ze l'de achuz. Ela malachim. When God want to bring the honest truth to the world, when there's negativity, we're going to discuss it later, why there's negativity. He doesn't give a no moser. If there is hunger about to come, he wouldn't tell it to the angel. God not allowed the announcer and the angel to know about it or to announce. It's God himself announcing it. 
כי קרא השם לרב, בעת ההיא מתפנים על העולם אמונים אחרים בגזרת רב. And after God announced it, there is under minister who manifested. ואסור לאדם שאת לו שובע, and a person who has money and food and everything is perfect in their life, להראות בעצמו שהוא שבע. A person should not show himself having satiation, maybe that's the right word, שובע, satiation, uh, while there is judgment in the world. כי מראה פגם למעלה. Because it show there is damage above. During the time of the temple being destroyed, you cannot laugh. In the time there is hunger in the world, you cannot celebrate with your, I don't know, pizza pie. ומכחיש דבר המלך שגזר על רעב כביכול. It seems like he's going against the words of the king, because he has a good time. And God in heaven decided it will be no good time for most people. כאילו הוא העביר הממונים של המלך במקומם, as if he is the king and he decides what's going to happen. אבל כן אמר יעקב לבניו, למה תתראו? שפירושו למה תעשו פגם למעלה ולמטה, להקריא דבר המלך, וכל הממונים בקרוא של המלך. So it was the hunger in the land of Canaan, and Jacob and his children were living there. And Joseph will live at that time in Egypt, and Egypt did very well money-wise and food-wise because of Joseph's advice and wisdom. Yaakov is telling his children, why? Why would you announce some damage above if he's standing there, standing here? Go bring food. But he said, I heard that he was in Egypt, and he was there. He told them, I heard Egypt has some food. Go there and bring food. ושם תראו את עצמכם בסובה. If you want to show yourself as a satiation, go to Egypt. Go to that negative place. ואל תכחישו פבלה של מעלה כאן. But in the land of Canaan, in, the, in, the, in where we are, we cannot announce that everything is okay. בואו רואה. יעקב כמה תבואה הייתה לו ולא רצה לשבור, אלא בתוך הבאים, כדי שימצא פגם. מעשה שלו, עדיין הוא שלא להראות את עצמו שבע. Did Yaakov have some food? Yes. So why didn't he use all of his food? Not to show that he is better than others. I think it's amazing and the reason it's amazing this section It's because sometimes you're going to have right column, meaning nourishment. Everything's going to work in your life. Well, when, when nobody else is doing well, and you are the only one who is doing well, you cannot announce it. Besides the idea to bring jealousy. It brings concept as, as if God destroyed the whole world beside you. You have to lower your ego, lower what you attach to based on what's surrounding you. And that's how you're going to prevent yourself from Ainara, from evil eye. Evil eye is coming when you like to celebrate of everything you have while nobody has the same. Can't do that. Can't talk in front of people who cannot find the job that your job is great. Can't talk about your health in front of everybody who is sick. Everything you're talking about has to be related to your surrounding. That's the beginning of a more I want to start. Now, how do we go about it? Who are we? that we fall into that selfish egomaniac consciousness that we need to understand it better. To understand that, I'm going to take you to a journey for Bala Sulam. It's a little bit profound, but it's important. And as I told you, because a more is relating to all the holidays, the way we can understand our selfish behavior 
in a way that we can never understand it nowhere else, is in this week parasha a more. And how do we understand it? By understanding Yom Kippur. I'll do the best I can to explain it. It's Mamash Kabbalah. And it's in page, those of you who have the Sulam 86, Peva, starting with the words Pirush Abalchut. Pirush, Amalchut Nikret Etzada Tovera. Malchut meaning our all existent of desire. It called tree of knowledge good and bad. Why? Mishum Shesh Babet Dekudot. Why is Malchut? What is our desire? Why is the concept of receiving called good and bad? Because there is two aspects to it. Aleph, in a kuda amemuteket da bina, she bitsidai mekabelet kola orot sheba. The first aspect of Malchut is when it becomes sweet. With bina, we know the Malchut representing the me, 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 and myself, and bina representing sharing and giving. So there is time where Malchut going up to Bina to her mother to get educated, to balance the receiving. So that's one aspect of the Malchut. But second aspect of the Malchut, in a kuda de midat adin is the concept called the attribute of judgment or judgment. That seems to Aleph, Shemitzedai na reuya lekabel or elion. That aspect of the judgment of Malchut, it cannot receive the upper light. Why? Because there is Timtzum. What is Timtzum? Everything that I want to receive for myself will not be able to manifest. But if it's manifest, I will achieve it, but it will not get me a great joy. For that reason, I have to restrict. I have to contract my desire. If the person married, if the person married, he will achieve only the first aspect of the malchut, of his desire, the part that becomes sweet with bina. We call it maftacha, the key. And the second aspect of that malchut will be hidden. That's the tzimtzum. Then the all aspect called desire receiving all the light that we all need. If he doesn't have a married that person, then neglect the kuda abet. Then the second aspect of malchut is revealed itself. We call that second aspect manula, lock. So let's define it. Maftucha, the key, is when the desire or malchut, if you wish, is elevated itself to be not too sweet itself. Second as of Malchut, when Malchut is the all receiving aspect, we call Manula, and that aspect has to go through a tzimtzum, has to go through a contraction, to a restriction. It cannot receive light. So when that aspect is awake, all the light is gone. So this is the two type of aspect in the Malchut. So we understand Malchut is divided to the good and bad. The bad aspect of Malchut is called Man'ula, which is judgment because I'm trying to receive something that it's forbidden for me to receive. Besides that judgment that comes from Malchut, that called Man'ula, called locks, there's another type of judgment that coming from the left column from above to below. What does that mean, left column from below to above? What is below to above? From outside to me. Me, 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 me. What is the left column? Left column representing Gvura, representing the whole idea of receiving. So how that left column took a place? Well, this is from the first, from beginning of creation, when the sun and the moon, 
if you know the story. So the left column is all the situation, all the light. I want to reveal all the light. So the originality of that concept didn't start by human being. didn't start by animal. It was before that. The concept itself was, I want to reveal the full capacity of the light of the creator. So of course, I have to reveal all the left column. But to reveal something, you need to have a receiver. And if you don't have a receiver, that light hanging there, like lightning that you cannot harness. There's nothing to do with that. So that's called Matzav Achorayim. We call that judgment Dinim de Duchra, the judgment of the male. And those judgments are harsh. So this is when we start to explain Yom Kippur. In Yom Kippur, the Kohen will take two goats, and one of the goats getting off the cliff. That goat drawing all the sin of the Israelite. Whatever is dinim the ducha or dinim the nukva, let's repeat it. What is dinim the nukva? What is the dinim, the first dinim? Is called manula. Manula mean lock. Meaning when malchut is not been sweet with bina. What is dinim the ducha? Is the left column from the time of creation. So the goat take all of it. On Yom Kippur only. And that's what we get rid of on Yom Kippur. How does this happen? Because there is already the judgment of Ducha, the male judgment, which has to do with only the left column. We call him Zoham Anefesh, the dirt of the lower part of the soul. Then automatically join that the judgment of the female, which is the name the Lugva, Manula, and we call it Zoam Aguf, the dirt of the body, the dirt of the lower part of the soul, the dirt of the body, joined together, put into the goat, get rid of it on Yom Kippur. Ki chisaron, Moshe chisaron, lack. Bring another lack. When you're missing something, another thing that you miss will be waking you up. Every person who talk about what they don't have, they will remember another thing they don't have. Misery, love, exactly. Vegam dinim denukva midapkim ba azazel biyom akipurim yoret abin shel kitzurot yam shu zom anefesh dano dinim denukva she ba azazel dinim zom anekufa she ba min shel dinim denukva she kitzurot yam. So we take in the boat judgment, put it into the goat. For that reason, it says the goat will carry all the sins. We think all the sins, meaning not single sin, sins of everybody. We say no. Sins, meaning the two type of sin. One, the name, the nukva, the judgment of the female, which is manula, which is the law, which is the bad side of good, the good and bad tree of knowledge. And the name the Ducha is the left column for beginning of creation. And because the Israelite, by sending the goat away, they are canceling the Dinim the Ducha, which is drawing light from above to below to themselves or oneself alone, then the other dinim the nukva been cancelled because one depend on each other. That's the first section on that subject. I'm jumping now. Those of you who have difficult time to understand, I'm sorry, but it's a Kabbalistic understanding of Yom Kippur, and it's quite important to study. Now I'm jumping to see if Resh Memchet in Sula Memo. And this is related more to the Kohanim, the job of the Kohen at that time. And I'm reading in the middle of Rashi Bechet. 
ונשא השעיר עליו את כל עוונותם אל ארץ גזרה. And that seer, that goat, will carry all the sin. ביום הזה, in this day, מתעטר הכהן בעטרות עליונות, the כהן getting all the light he need, והוא עומד בין העליונים ותחתונים, and he's standing between the upper and the lower, הוא מכפר עליו על ביתו, and he removed the scene of his house and his home, scene of the כהנים, scene of the people, scene of the temple, everybody. What does that mean? ביאור המאמר, listen to that carefully, it's related to what I say before. כל העונשים שבעולם, all the punishment, all the pain and suffering, all the war, all the hunger, all the problem we have, הם באים מבית מיני דינים. They're coming from two types of judgment. אחד, דינים דה דוכרה, the first one coming from דינים דה דוכרה, judgment of male. What is judgment of male? המשכת, הערת, חוכמה שבשמאל ממעלה למטה. When there is a drawing of light, drawing of sustenance, drawing of importance, drawing of health, drawing of recognition from the left column, from above to below, meaning just me for myself, that's called dinim de dukha. Second type of dinim, or dinim de dukha, ששורשם הוא גילוי המנולה למעלה במלכות. It's awakening the judgment called manula, the lock in malchut, besod lo zakha ura. So by doing those two dinim, we have a problem. The person has to be punished because you're activating things you shouldn't be activated. You cannot activate the left column. The left column is not supposed to be activated. The left column is supposed to be joined the right column by using center column. In a simple language, if you want something, you cannot want it just for you. You have to join it with chasadim, with goodness, with kindness, with generosity. And then by putting center column there, combine those three columns, then there is revelation. But drawing just for you alone, you're drawing punishment. might not happen now, but it will happen later. So what do we do if we already did that, or we are doing it? You know, you talk to someone, you have to talk with kindness. You have a conversation with your husband, your wife, kindness. But at that filot v'tshuva, to pray and repentance, v'kdushat ayom, and the holiness of Yom Kippur, Israel moved themselves from judgment and punishment. How do they do that? By the goat, going to the desert. Why do we use two goats? The first goat for sacrifice is the way we draw light of holiness. What is light of holiness? How do you describe Kedusha? When it's from below to above. Below to above. Meaning not for me, for you. Lishma. Chelkam shel Israel. Sayir Lazazel, the other goat that we pushed from the cliff, is the dark side goat. Meaning what? That's what we draw something from above to below. Selfishness. שאנו מעוררים אותה עם הגורל על הזל, ושלחים אותה לארץ גזירה. אנחנו קוראים שליטת סמ"ם. ממשיכים את החומה מן העלה למטה. Why do we put it off the mountain and we give it on the dark side? Because what is the dark side one? That we act everything from above to below. All about me. שממנו נמשכים העונשים הגדולים. All the punishment that people go through, all the suffering people go through, They're coming from the left column, just me, me, and myself. And because B'nai Israel now in Yom Kippur, they're fasting, they're praying, they do tshuva, they're changing. Now they remove all the left column judgment. And they now sacrifice the goat. The goat is not for me, it's away from me. That's so why there is a smoke. 
היא של השם, right? איך ניחוח, it's going up. אמנם תחילה צריכים להדביק גם הדינים דנום כבר בעזאזל, וסוד זה שליחו צולות ים כל החלטם, כל מושך גירעון, so we understand that the left column will remove by the god pushing off the cliff, okay. That's taking care of the in the ducha, the judgment of the judgment of the male. Whatever we do from above to below, for myself alone. What do we do? What do we do with the in the ducha, which are more the judgment that come by connected to manula, connected to malchut, connected to my think without sweetened with bina. What do we do with that? So tell us the sulam, tell us the zohar that. When we push the goat from the mountain, the judgment of people who just want for themselves, unfortunately, negative thing will happen to them. That's a punishment. So first we do the ducha, and then we do the nukva. So the question, my friend, what is the story with that? Why did I read to you 20 minutes of complicated Zohar? Ma'amatara. First, because I want you to understand the depth of what's really going on. It's not just a joke, judgment, punishment, good life, bad life. It's a serious thing. Because there is a judgment above to look after you if you're not doing it correctly. So, why do we do all of it in Yom Kippur? Why is the dark side don't go for it. Go after it. And I'm continue. Before Rish Memtet. The way we deal with the dark side. Not to snitch on us. We give him part of it. When we push the, the, the goat off. Because all what he want. Is to draw light from above to below. What is the stink? What is the dark side? What is it? It's meaning... The original desire, how it needs to be before Tim Tzum. He said, we have to go back the way God created the world. God want to share all the light. We're supposed to receive all the light. But of course, it's not meant to come. It's not been fixed. We're not allowed to do it this way. When we give him that goat, it's considered a gift. If he will kind of... Uh, speak bad about the Israelites, to kind of reveal the manula of Malchut, meaning the place where the Tzimtzum is, as it's in Kolarot by Malchut, then all the light will remove from Malchut, and also his portion will be removed. And because of his fear, if you open his mouth about Israel, he's kind of saying, you know what, I'm going to rest my case, I'm not going to talk bad about the Israel and Yom Kippur. Let them go. Because I'm receiving the goat, which is all the left column. It's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to speak good about them. So through that, I can get whatever I want. Try to imagine the technology that is being hidden here. Very, very important technology. But let's dig a bit deeper here to more practical tools. Mavashlag, in the Ma'amara Shalom, in Matan Torah, in a book that's called Matan Torah, Giving of the Torah. Rav Ashlag writes something very incredible there about Ma'amar Shalom. How to bring peace to the world. How to bring peace to your family. How to bring peace to your heart. And he writes there that the need of community, global community, neighborhood community, Kabbalistic community, Balasulab community, some community, you get a chance to practice love the neighbor as thyself. What's the purpose of love the neighbor as thyself? And he writes there that there is a danger. Some people think love the neighbor as thyself. This is the goal. The goal is you're supposed to get to a level that you connected, communicating and loving the Creator with all your heart. How do you get there? By not thinking about yourself, 
not drawing a left column all the way to you, and not getting to Manula to think that being Tzimtzum. Manula will be like, I want it. But it's already been decided you have to let it go. And you can. That's Manula. Left column means, I want to draw it for me because that's a pleasant I'm getting. Can. So how do we practice it? There is my famous, my famous drawing that I'm doing it already for 20 years. God is in the top, you in the bottom, and your friend is at the bottom. Triangle. The goal is to be connected to the creator. The way to get there is by loving another human being. The reason we need to be part of community, because by giving a person, that's the only way I can connect to God. And that's not enough. By loving a person while I'm giving them, unconditionally, love the neighbor as thyself, through that, that becomes the tool to have tvekut, to have cleaving with the Creator. Without it, not going to work. So you want to bring shalom? You want to bring uh, uh, Putin and Zelensky to say hello to each other? You want the Palestinian and the Israeli to play Sheshvesh together? You want the Iranian and Hezbollah to chill out a little bit? There is a way to do it. Build a spiritual community. Build a spiritual community. And by building a spiritual community and love the neighbor as they self among them for the sake of loving God, through that, ending in the Ducha or in the Nukva. There is no judgment. That's the way we can remove it. That's the way we can remove it. I will tell you, I will, I will give you another uh, uh, section here before I'm going to the other section. Actually, for Ma'or and I'm, it explain the same concept. I would like to bring it to you. I saw it here. Parashat Demor. And look at Ma'or and I'm, how we look at love. This parasha has to be exist within your kishke, within your soul, within your vein, within your blood. It doesn't talk about Kohen, say Maor and I'm. You are the Kohen. I am the Kohen. We all the Kohanim. Mamlechet Kohanim Tiuli. Kize inea Kohen anikra oved Hashem. You want to know what Kohen is? Somebody worship God. When there is no aliyah for Kohen in the first aliyah, if it's Monday, Thursday, or Shabbat, or Mincha, what do we say? Mincha of Shabbat. What do we say? Yamod, Bim Kob Kohen. Why do we say Bim Kob Kohen? Instead, we don't have Kohen. So Bim Kol Kohen. Instead of we have Kohen. Why we say that? Say, say, Maor and I'm Kodesh Kodashim. The Rav Kri Bekana. Every person who worships Hashem, call him Kohen. What is our and I want here in this section? We need to understand the Avot, Perik Aleph. In Perik Avot, Perik Aleph, it's written, Eve mitalmi dav shel Aaron oev shalom, ve rodav shalom oevet abriot ve karvan atora. He say, become like the student of Aaron, the high priest, oev shalom, he loved peace, Rodev Shalom. Not just that he loves peace, he's chasing peace. Or have a briot, he loves people, who make caravan la Torah. And he gets them close to the Torah. Mahu, or have Shalom, or have Shalom. Now, when I'm saying, what does that mean? I love peace, and I'm chasing peace. Oh, maze, maze. What is that? Well, Pia Mabar Shakadubi Shayahu, he brings Shayahu Kafzai, and I'm with Pasukei. Section from Kavzayim, from 20, chapter 27a, a verse 5, that will, God will make me peace. But still, what does that mean? The Ainu Shebachzikim Betorato Idbarar Vavodato, when you are chasing the Torah, you're chasing spirituality, you're chasing connection to the Creator. You bring peace among the angels above. And through that, you bring peace 
in this world. הוא מפרש התנא כיצד יעשה זאת. How do you do this? How do you do this? How do you bring peace? How? I want to bring peace. I want the war to be over. I'm tired. I want all the guns to turn into cars, into airplane. I want that. Look what it's right there. Amar ohev et abriyot umekarvan la Torah. What did it say in Perke Avod? Even be talmidav shel Aaron. Become the student of Aaron. You love peace. You chase peace. You want to know how to do it? It's almost like a question mark. Do you want to know how to do it? Are you interested in that? Do you want peace of mind? People come to me sometimes. Rabbi, I want a peace of mind. That's all what I want. I don't need money. I should answer that, but I didn't know it. Like in that connection. Baruch Hashem, it was revealed to me and hopefully it's a big revelation for you too. You want peace? Oef shalom? Ata oef shalom? You like peace? Ata gam rodef shalom? You also chasing peace? Mazal tov. I tell you how to do it. Oev et abriyot. You have to love people. Umekavan la Torah. And get them closer to the Torah. I don't know if it's, you value it. It's a meot chashuv. It's a, it's a, it's a even pina. It's a foundation stone for our study. We know that our whole universe was created by the 22 Hebrew letters of the Torah. You can uh, read it in Sefer Yetzirah, Book of Formation. Beautiful. That, that Hashem, it's in the Zohar, Hashem created the, 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 this whole world with the Torah. And if you want to know how to behave, you have to go for the Torah. If Hashem created the world with the Torah, then you have to study the Torah, how to behave. When you study Torah without benefit for yourself, without left column, me, 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 and myself, then everything else is working. But if it's all about me, me, and myself, then Torah to nesta no sama mavet chav de shalom. וכל נתיבותיה שלום ונעשה שלום בפורמלה של מעלה בין השרים העליונים. לבין נעשה שלום בפורמלה של מטה ולא יהיה מלחמות. It will not be war if we study the Torah without what we're getting into to oneself alone. And it say How do you get there? To stop being a baby. How you stop being a baby? What's a gadol? You care about others. You love others. Through the wisdom of the Torah. Share with you a story. You know, the Jose of Lovlin, the Sir of Lovlin have amazing student. You know, you can tell a lot about the teacher by looking at who study from that teacher. One time he told one of the students, you know, the Jose was like a Navi. You can read about it in Shah Ruach HaKodesh, the difference between Navi and Baal Ruach HaKodesh, big difference. And um, he told to that student that he cannot stay for uh, Rosh Hashanah. And he told him to go home. The student was very sad, falling to Katnut, Katnut HaMachshava, Katnut HaPrey. And he fell into a um, terrible feeling that his rabbi sent him back. He felt like he's been rejected. And you know, those of you who have a rabbi, those of you who have a teacher, that's the nature of a teacher. Teacher can be tough on you, can be nice to you, can be misunderstood to you, can put doubts in your hand. That's a teacher. That's a teacher. Teacher make you grow. Teacher make you love God in all condition. If you love your teacher only because he's smart, wise, beautiful, tall, I don't know, all the reasoning, you don't yet love your teacher. You have to decide you love your teacher unconditionally. And then, as Rabbi Avraham Azulay writes in Chesed Avraham, when you meet God, you can love God unconditionally. So you can practice loving of God through loving of your teacher in all condition. 
teacher. The teacher tell you don't be here. You know your teacher know what he's doing. You know he's a messenger. Now you can have doubts and then no good. So he's going and he's on the way home. He's stopping one of those motel. And you see so many students of the Jose of Lovlin, all of them are very holy people, great teacher of Kabbalah. And they're having a good time because they study and they have their, you know, bread, a little bit uh, mashke. And you see that they are very happy. And they look at him and he looks depressed. And they ask him, why are you so depressed? They say, well, the rabbi told me not to be this Rosh Hashanah with him. So it's hard for me. It's very hard for me because all, all the year I'm waiting just to be with Rosh Hashanah with my teacher. You know, when you are with your teacher on Rosh Hashanah, you are the legs of your teacher. You are Netzach Ve'od. With you, only with you, because Netzach Ve'od, I cannot go deep in Kabbalah. Nahi, Afriyot Orot Ve'kelim, become Kachav, Ketach Wabina. Without you, your teacher cannot achieve to Kachav and bring it to you and to your family. So it's so important on the Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur to be around your teacher. Some of you, I mean, make sure nobody see you, even touch sometimes the leg of your teacher in the middle of the prayer of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It's a big Indian. Netzach the Od, tell them, teacher, I'm with you, I'm your legs. Don't worry, go up. Don't worry about it, just go up. So when the teacher tell you not to be there, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, that's mean you're not a good supporter. I'm not talking about money or charity. It's, you're not my leg. And if you don't have his leg, you don't get it, your kachav, your kachav, your bina. So he's in, uh, in that hotel, hostel, bar, whatever you want to call that place. And they look at him, he said, is that what you said? Say, well, say, why don't you come and join us? Have a drink with us. We study some Torah together. So he's with them, they have a lechaim, because they study something so deep in Kabbalah, and they're so happy, so we have to do lechaim. Round for everybody. Whatever money they have, they have a good time. And they start dancing, celebrating the love for one another, because that's really what it's all about. And loving to God. And he joined them for the dance, and then he joined it, and then he became the happiest student, actually. And he started making everybody dance. And they look at him and said to him, listen, we enjoy your presence so much. You are unbelievable. We want to wish you that you have a long life. We want to wish you you have a great year. We want to wish you you have all the money. We want to wish you that you and your wife get along. We want to wish you kids. They give him blessing, nonstop of blessing, because your presence is unbelievable. So, they put their stuff on the wagon, they're about to go. Then they, they go back to him and say to him, why don't you join us? Say, are you out of your mind? My teacher told me not to come. He said, well, sometimes for being with your teacher, you're allowed to have a little doubts. If your teacher push you away, you gotta fight your way back. Why don't you give it another try? So I'm, I'm really nervous, but I'm coming. And those people are not rich, the simple people they go on the wagon together. He's like so nervous what I'm going to say. It's not a long ride. You know, we talk about one and a half hour, two hours. And he arriving there. And the teacher see him. He's now shaking, sweating. The teacher look at him, he come closer to him. And he knows his teacher is a prophet. He can see his old tikkunim. And he smile. And he doesn't speak. So the teacher tell him, I'm so happy you came back. Can I give him a hug? He doesn't say words. He said, welcome. I hope you stay with me for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So if you have doubts about your teacher, usually you think your, your teacher lost his mind. But he wasn't like that. He knew his teacher was holy. So his teacher tell him, I'm sure you wonder why I push you away. Say yes. So when you came here, I saw the angel of death with you. And I knew you have 40 days to stay alive. And we're in Elul. And I was prefer you go spend the time with your family to say goodbye to everybody. I didn't want to take you away from your family. After my student met you and you danced with them, you were so happy about the mitzvah. And they bless you. It's so simple that God accepts all their blessing. Right away, I knew you're going to live for a long time. That's why I say now you're welcome. My friend, sometimes in life, we have doubts because we overly use the left column and dinim the manula of the nukva. And we're using too much judgment, me, 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 and myself. And we become ketanim. We become too childish. And by becoming too childish, things cannot work. We know that 
the point of Katnut, I mentioned it many times in Pesach, and I'm just going to read the section. It's not a long one. Uh, just because I want to mention that to you. Um, and with this, we're going to close the whole thing. And it says, Why we celebrate Shavuot? And how is that connect to what we're saying here? Look what it says. I'm in verse Kuf Ben Vav in Sulam, in the section of Rav Ashla. It says, We were giant in Pesach. We revealed all the light. Why do I have to go back? And in Shavuot, waiting for Gadlut again to be great again. Look what it says. It was a gift. Passover was a gift. It wasn't yours. So we can get the Israelite out of the dirt of Egypt of the left column. The worst of the left column is Egypt. She just saw the leg of the skip the end and get us out. That's why those lights on Passover doesn't last forever. Then everybody becomes childish after Pesach. Why? Because we don't have the light that we had for free on Passover. We're supposed to build it through the Sfirat Omer by the blessing of Sfirat Omer, or Mekif or Chozer, or Mekif or Plimi. That's how we're building it. That's what we're doing the Mincha. Seorim, that's a sacrifice. What is the idea? What do we do with Hatsorim? Minifim. We're throwing it in the air. Why are we throwing it in the air? To show you it's against what I'm receiving from above to below. Everything is for me and above. Then we anafa. We are throwing it in the air. I wish you can have it in English, so powerful. So this whole idea of what we're doing. So now you know the correcting, the full correction of your left column, the full correction of your selfishness, happening now, Sfirat HaOmer, between Pesach, when you are great, but you bore it, then it's gone, then you build up every day of Sfirat HaOmer, counting of the Omer, and then in Shavuot, you become Yelet Gadol. What is Yelet Gadol? What is Gadlut? What is receiving of the Torah? That's what Matan Torah is. Matan. Hashem give us the Torah. No Kabbalah the Torah. Matan. So who's Mekabel? La'anif. If you have it for yourself alone, he's going to give it to you. But you're not going to have it. But if you want to have it, what type of chasadim you come up with? Is your chasadim is money? Is your chasadim is kindness? Is your chasadim is forgiveness? What type of chasadim you bring into the picture? So this light of Chochmah, this general generosity of God can be contained in a certain container. I hope everybody will get something out of this lecture and we all become soon Mamlechet Konim. Thank you. Mm-hmm.